Hi everyone, I'm Steve, here again with the gut girl, Nicole, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. So we're going to talk about butter. Butter is shocking. This is something that you and I talk about a lot. We were talking about this off camera. All the benefits of butter and why people should eat it. Um, you know, at the end, I'm, or listen to what we're talking about, but uh, Nicole is a certified nutritionist, uh, kind of on the holistic side. And if you want to reach out to her, we'll give you some information uh, at the end of this video. Uh, so, Nicole, you're going to give us nine benefits of butter, and that's a lot. I eat butter all the time. Um, so, what what's the first benefit? Let's just we'll just go through in order. What's the first? Not necessarily most important, but what's the first benefit you want to talk about butter? So uh, normally I don't have to write these benefits down. I just ha kind of have them in my head. But today I had to write these down because they were so good. And I wanted to make sure I got them all. Um, the first one, because butter has been so villainized, I wanted to tell you guys the first one in my book is all of that. It's not heart healthy. It'll give you cholesterol, all of those things. Here's the number one benefit of butter. It reduces heart disease by 69% because it has a high dose of vitamin K in it, which prevents artery calcification. That's huge. And that is not what the doctors talk about when they're villainizing butter, you know, and the butter we're talking about is a grass fed organic butter. Um, I always use, I do not use, you know, the, the mainstay butters that you'll see in, you know, your big box, um, grocery stores, but there are a couple good ones there. So look for them, grass fed, um, organic butter. Number two is it is. I, yeah. I just want to say that's really important. What you just said, grass fed mm -hmm. organic butter, because it's going to be healthier. The animal's healthier for, for sure. So that's an important one. Yeah. Don't okay. have the butter that's full of chemicals that, you know, yeah, the number two, and yeah, number right. two is um, vitamin A. It is packed also full of vitamin A that helps your hormones, helps thyroid production. It helps, believe it or not, macular degeneration. That's huge, you guys. If you have a tablespoon of butter a day and you're helping your macular degeneration, that's enormous. Number three, it helps fight fungal infections. So everyone out there, I have a very um, good practice of holistic nutrition and I go through a checklist and most, I would say about 99% either have candida or they have some type of fungal infection on their toes, that kind of stuff. Butter helps that. <laughs> um, and it's a great source of selenium, you guys. That's a huge one. Um, that's a really big one for thyroid um, help. Also is a good source of omega-3s. That is, you know, I can't stress enough for the immune system. Number six is it contains. Oh, how did you get the six? That was, that was, well, I just want to make sure everyone knows which reduction. one it is. Three, reduction four. of heart disease, vitamin okay. A, fungal infection, selenium, and okay. then, and number five was the omega threes. Sorry, it went kind of fast. Yeah, um, okay. <laughs> Number six, vitamin D and calcium. So, okay, I cannot tell you how many people think they really miss the boat on vitamin D and how people are deficient in vitamin D. Vitamin D makes the world go round in my book. Um, it helps the production of calcium absorption. So you need to have that when you're talking about calcium. It's huge. Number seven, it has conjugate, conjugated linoleic acid in it, CLA. That is huge for preventing cancer, boost, boost the immune system, and eliminates toxins in the system. That's a heavy hitter, if you ask me. Um, now, normally, now, normally, you wouldn't want to just go get... Linoleic acid is bad in these processed foods because of yes. the omega-6, right? But yes. this is different. 
And, and this is different how it's processed, you guys. You want to make sure that you're getting an organic butter so it's not broken down, high heated, that kind of stuff, so that you're not getting the linoleic acid. You're getting the con conjunct... I'm just full of it today. You're getting the CLA portion of this, so that way you're getting it not high heated. That's a very important point. Okay, so what are we on, eight? Number eight, it helps nutrient absorption. So you guys, when you have a digestive process and you have bloat or heartburn, something, and, and I see a lot of that in my practice, butter actually helps that process go down and it helps you break down your food so that the nutrients go in the right spots. That's huge. Um, number nine is kind of just a list of what it actually has in it. I wanted to make sure that everyone knew exactly what is in butter that's beneficial. It has A, E, D, K, calcium, chromium, copper, manganese, and selenium. That's a, that's a heavy hitter in my book. All the fat soluble vitamins right there. Exactly. And, and people don't realize the monounsaturated fat in butter, right? Yeah, absolutely. And it is a big, huge beneficial benefit to our healthy systems. And, you know, it's pretty much, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. <laughs> but the butter kind of mimics an egg. They've, they've yes. got the same things. They've got the same things in it. And people absolutely. don't realize, I would say everyone believes or knows, I, I would say it's probably true that monounsaturated fat is good for you, right? Yes, absolutely. Yes. If there's more monounsaturated fat in like an egg and, and these, you know, these foods that you talk about a lot, there's more monounsaturated fat in it than saturated fat. There, yes. I mean, it's pushing two times in an egg, monounsaturated fat than saturated fat. And it also has the omega-3s, which is a polyunsaturated fat. So the nutrients in it are amazing. amazing. So I don't get why people come out and they do these studies and they say, butter is bad for you. Yes, you got to get the right kind of butter, just like yes. you got to get the right kind of salt, the right kind of beef, you know, the right kind of eggs. You can't just, sadly, just can't just go buy, buy this stuff right off the shelf and get the cheapest product because right. it's not going to be as healthy. Um, it's not going to be as bad as some ultra processed foods. Well, for sure, but it's not going to be as healthy if you buy the quality, right? Right. Oh, absolutely. And that's the big deal here. And that's a good takeaway from this is, you know, when you're looking at things, you need to look at the right ones. And that's where you and I have talked about this a lot. Matter of fact, we just talked about this. You need to do some research for yourself. Start thinking about your body, your decisions, those kind of things that comes right down to buying butter. Like don't go buy the ultra processed. Think about which is good. If if you have two butters next to each other and they have a bunch of chemicals versus three items, there's your answer. Think about this through. Yeah. Um, okay. So Nicole, thanks for being with us and your email. If they want to get a hold of you, what is it? It's the gut girl one at gmail.com. That's the number one. Number one. Okay. The gut girl, the number one, at gmail.com and Nicole has said that she will give you a hundred dollars off um, if if you're interested in learning and getting going with her and you read the blood work and you do all yeah. that stuff and, and work with them and getting the right diet for them and getting their macros right is that correct? absolutely yes absolutely and I look at you individually to see what needs to be cleaned up what nutrients need to come in what you're lacking all of that kind of stuff so let's just say if somebody said, hey, they insist on being a vegan, you could help them be a vegan, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I, I mean, every that's why I am i don't do a cook, cookie cutter type of diet. It is specific to that person's needs. I know you and I are both meat and egg and butter eaters, um, but some people don't want to do that. And so right. um, it's, it's about finding what works for them. So 
Um, all you have to do is mention that you heard this interview and that uh, I sent you there and you'll get $100 off um, on the program. And you can find out what that is and all the detail of it. Absolutely. So, Nicole, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me.